Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, January 29, 2024. I pray that the peace of the Lord will be on you today and may he watch over you and your families as you continue to walk in his favor. Our reading today comes to us from 1 John chapter 1, reading verse 5 to 10. And it says, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Verse 6, If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. Verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ten and last says, If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. I say, Amen. God is the light of the world. Scripture tells us that he has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Indeed, it's a privilege to be a part of this beautiful experience. It's a good thing to be in the light because when you are in the light or when you have light, you can see things more clearly. And so he's saying to us that if we walk with him or if we are walking with him in the light, darkness cannot exist in us. Think about it. When you turn on the light in your home, it brightens up every aspect of that room. And so there's no darkness in that room. Correct? Only light. And so in the same way, if we are walking with God, who is the light, it cannot be that darkness exists in us. That's just not possible. Understand? Because light dissipates darkness it removes it completely and so let us understand that if we are in a relationship with God and if we are his children then we have to conduct ourselves as children of light and so it means therefore that the things that we do should reflect the character of Christ so we can't be a liar, we can't steal, we can't hate our brother, and even if we have a cause to hate our brother, we can't hate him. We got to love even our enemies. We have to treat everybody with kindness and with love and compassion because that's the characteristics of God. Amen? And so walking in the light of God means that we are is representative to the world and so let us understand that the responsibility that we bear as Christian is not a simple one the world is already in darkness and that is why the Lord wants us to shed a little light in this dark corner where we are and so friends let us remember that we serve a God that is compassionate a God that loves his children. The Bible said that he does not want anyone to be lost. He wants to save everybody. That's his intention. That's his plan. That is why he came and gave his life so that the world can be saved through him. Amen. And so he said that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just. So God is a just God. God is fear. God is not biased. God does not treat us as we deserve. And so pre-adventure we sin and we come off the beaten path. 
and we lose our way somehow. He says, come, let us reason together. Tell me what it is that you want. Confess those sin. Confess your faults. Put them before me and I will take them away from you. And it will be as if you have never sinned before. Isn't that an awesome gift? To be treated like you have never done anything wrong in your life? That is an amazing gift. And so, let us accept this gift with humility. Let us stay on the path that God has laid out for us. Let us walk as children of light. Let us live according to his word, not our own. Let us hold our head up high. Let us sprinkle a little salt, a little flavor in the world so that the world can see that God is good, so that the world can see that God loves everybody, so that the world can know that God wants to save everybody and so the world can walk away from darkness through our experience shining the light wherever we are they will see the good in us that is of God and desire to come over into the light the Bible also tells us that if we say that we have the light or if we commit sin in other words if you and I keep sinning and practicing sin, then we make God into a liar. And I'm sure none of us want to make God look like a liar. Amen? And so, let us keep away from sin. Yes, the devil is going to try to tempt you. He's going to put all kind of distraction in your way. He's going to remind you of how much fun you used to have when you weren't a Christian or whatever he wants to dangle in front of your face to make you impress but just remember that there's nothing that God cannot do better and the greatest gift that God has given unto you and unto me is to give his life for us so that we can have this opportunity to confess our sin and be transformed and be renewed and be saved and so friends i encourage you and i encourage myself let us continue to trust god let us continue to be faithful let us continue to walk in the light hold that candle run through the darkness and keep our eyes on jesus until he return god bless you and continue to be faithful Amen.